But when I took a coffee cake, my first meeting with him, I wrote my will and gave it to him. And then I, I moved on. But the will, to summarize it, was to indicate that I believe in. For me, I tried to resist the word to go on that mission, to go to the country, every the houses, go to go to say pray for Ghana. Because the vision was that there was going to be fire in the elections. I think that we need to build the faith from a genuine heart. So if we decide to uh, affect our lives, their father is a pastor, he yeah, is a pastor. But he allows his children to come to me. They pray the road, they know how to pray the road. I went to the whole country, but the Lord kept showing me what has to be done. And look at how the missionaries really converted our grandparents who were serving at the shrines. Uh, it took love. They nursed their wounds. I'm also the, 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 the medical assistant here. Yeah, more than. Oh, more than. Because I remember making a sign up as well while I also were in the car when it was 12. For over 40 minutes, we've been driving deep into the forest. We are on a journey to visit one of our Christ priests with a desire for solitary life, Father Ebenezer Hansen. How do we turn? I've been a man who will be like five, so we'll bring Father, we'll carry the front like this with our hand, come back, carry the back like this. Questions became frustrations. We are still going on. There is no way I would have been able to go back successfully. <laughs> this one, um, I Google map. Google no, no, me. Google map. Sure. Okay, Google we'll go try. We'll go try. We'll go try on our way back. We'll we'll go try on our way back. After almost an hour of driving through the thick forest, we finally arrived at the city of God, Butikofa, off Japan in the Ketakachi Diocese. Father Hansen tells us how he got here and everything else you should hear for yourself. We have three cottages. Uh, so we have ARS. The religion here actually is ARS, the native religion. And then we have the Fulanis also. From two sites, Mumuni Kofe is here and then Yagaju Kofe is here. So the, the ARS children, they have been here for about We've made about a year, almost a year now. Uh -huh. We made progress. Yes, yes. But about a month or so, decided also come okay. to the glory of God. So they are now more or less going on the beginning again. Uh, many of the boys are not here because they are keeping their cattle. We are working to get the hay grass seeds for them. They will plant in their homes. Then the boys will not be going uh, to kill the cattle, then they can also come here and then. Uh, so these are children. Oh, it's a matter of buying, buying the seeds. Uh, a seed. When you get, when you get the seed and they plant, when the rainy season, three months, that's all. Mm. So that is, uh, and the other children from the natives who are schooling in uh, Japan. Uh -huh. Others are also in the Bukha Rikope, they work all the way there, but part of the next one are, uh, so, but they are hoping that once we get a classroom officially, they will all stop and then come to easy. Uh, so, they are now trying to gel the Fulanis and then the natives. So you mentioned that these people belong to different um, religions. And, yes. and are you trying to, do you have time to have masses with them as well? Uh, not yet. Okay. Some of them have sounded that I should have something like that. But I think that we need to build the faith from a genuine heart. So if we decide to uh, affect their lives, they will run. Uh, when they come, the children, the children, they come. Their, past, their father is a pastor, he yeah, is a pastor. But he allows his children to come to me. They pray the word, they know how to pray the word. Uh, they are his children. But again, they are children. So once they are coming to me, whatever I do, they also uh, uh, but not yet because they are under age we need the parents uh, how do you call it consent to make them catholics but for the ars pastor he has more or less given the children to me so they join me for masses yes 
gradually. We believe that once we do what is right with them, they will learn what is right and they want to follow what is right. And when I came in May, went to the foundation for a school. A school to the other side, the Mumuni people. Ah, that's my father here. Really? So this is the father of the children you saw. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, this Mumuni. So Mumuni Kopi is that here. Oh, okay. Just uh, come to give us a gift. Okay. Thank you. Wagashi. 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 He had, had a, an injury. Once I, well, I checked on them, so I went to visit and all that, checking them, they should bring the children. Finally, after about three months, the children had to come. And uh, yeah, thank you. When uh, he had got an injury, I went to visit him from time to time and gave him something to go to the hospital. Uh, so he came and then asked me, Father, one pie, mommy. Father, pray for me. So I. <laughs> I have to pray for him. If now he says, Father, pray for me, it means I've seen something good in the Catholic uh, priest. And, but it's gradual. As we get to know about what we are doing. And this is how the church began many years ago. It's genuine spirituality, genuine charity, genuine love. That's all. They all pick up. So we have, if you have the rights of Father Etienne Al Hassan, Father Salifu, the roots would have been Islam. And something might have affected. Look at how the missionaries really converted our grandparents who were seven at the shrines. Uh, it took love. They nursed their wounds. So I'm also the, 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 the medical assistant here. <laughs> uh, those who go to school, when they are injured, on their way here, I have to nurse them before they go. Uh, and they come back, those who are, who are around, and they have malaria, uh, atike, uh, we give them here and there. When I'm not, when I feel any, any, any challenge, I need medication. Yeah. I'll go to them for their herbs. Wow. Now they also come to me for the oh. Yebu, Yebu oh. <laughs> But yeah, I'm learning also careful. about the, the herbs. Uh, in future, we have serious, a technician of physician, we can use in a way that will bless them and other people. But they are very good uh, herbs here. Uh, some are edible and they're very good. And we have tried it. The old man is about 90 plus years. He's still farming. And has lived here about 70 years plus with his children. So you can imagine. <laughs> uh, father has been very instrumental uh, with my stay here. And uh, he has okay. pushed me. At a point in time, I was just living. I was just being here. I thought I should just be here, pray, and die and go to heaven. <laughs> but he pushed me a lot. He said, no, Father, I have to move. You have to do this. So he comes here and says, Father, what about this? And I have to think about it, and then we pray, and then it happens. So, Father, he, he's the main man. Father, God bless you. We are so grateful. We are so grateful. God bless you, Father. God bless you, Father. He's 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 actually Saint Saint John Vianney. Yeah. This is Nativity. Okay. 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 So, we have an activity here, as a uh, lady of activities, a patron, patron us here, trying to go back to our roots in terms of humility. Mm -hmm. uh, as for the course, we always have it in mind. Like, before the course was the, the activity scene, that we all go like the wise men. We go, we adore him, we worship him, mm -hmm. and then we can connect to him at the cross. So we have it here, uh, the manger. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Today is Saint Domeviani. It's in Moria, so we have Domeviani, but I don't know who can point out Saint Domeviani. Let me see whether I remember our catechesis. John Meriviani. Grey hair. Yes. Mm -hmm. with a, with a, yes, and then the stool, Valley stool. He, yeah. he was always there for confessions and penance. So that is John Meriviani. Mm -hmm. And then next to him is who? Pio. 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 Yes. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. After him is Saint Anthony. Yeah. 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 There is, there is a, a, the bone of Saint Francis of Assisi. Mm. Uh, his relic, uh, first class mm. relic. That is what is in the case. Mm -hmm. If you want to venerate it, you know, we can bring it on the altar, you can venerate it. Okay. And then here we have Saint Joseph sleeping. Mm. Uh, in scripture, the three times that he communed with God, he was all in his dream. Okay. So he's repeated here as <coughs> sleeping over the problems of the world. Okay. So I write intentions and I put there okay. for people who need the Lord's mercy. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then we have the Fatima uh, image, and the Lady of Grace is a white statue. Mm -hmm. uh, so that is uh, uh, in, we are told in Revelation that the statue of life. Of course, those who do their work well, they will eat from the tree of life. Uh, this this is a big tree, but we cut it. We try to just allow the the, the shafts to come by the altar. But what it, what it actually means is that, you see, it's all to towards this side, the direction of Father, because they are looking for sunshine, photosynthesis. Uh, what does it mean? Even this one is supposed to be like this, but it's so risen. It's also crying for sunshine. sunshine. Once we search for the Lord, He will give us what we need. He will bless us. Once we tune our minds to the Lord, it's a frequency He will give us. When Father blesses us, in church, we have no idea the power that comes from it. Especially when after Mass it says, "The Lord bless you, the Father, the Son." We have no idea the blessings that comes with it. Just like this, we have to just position ourselves very well. And the blessings will come. Most often, it's after Mass that we go to Father uh, to bless us. At that time, it is not as the same as when He is celebrating the Mass. So our own intention for attending Mass. Is one our participation in it and ab absorbing or attracting the graces. I don't mind to even Lady Catalina that we don't ask enough to help us. So the sun comes with all the blessings, but we don't ask. Says we don't ask enough. We should ask. Says we should ask. Sometimes we are worried about many things, but we should just be asking the Lord and our Lady. Yes. So that is that is the, the rationale here. And some flowers. These are all wild in the bush, but they are flowers, so we are bringing them home. Uh, most flowers came from the bush. Once upon a time, they were wild, so we're bringing them home. So uh, we shall offer prayers. We spend a minute of silence for us to present our own intentions to the Lord. No matter how small he is, in that obscure corner, he is still the Lord. He's the Lord today as he was some years ago, many, many, many hundreds of years ago, thousands of years ago. He's the same. He has not changed. He's here as he is at the Vatican. He's here. Fully here. Fully present here. Yes, he's Of the world, you are present with the Father and the Spirit. You said that Abraham loved to have seen your day. 
and yet before him you are the I am the Emmanuel the Mauli because you are ever present you have not changed in your essence of me he called Abraham from Ur, Iraq to sacrifice and live his comfort security to be in the wilderness you called Isaac you called Jacob you led Joseph to fulfill your plan in Egypt and you drew Israel from Egypt through Moses and Aaron they lived in the desert 40 years you were with them beyond them you are called many and through them you reveal your power and your mind. You are planned even before we get to know about it. You knew that we'll be here today. We thank you for the mercies given us. We thank you for the support given us. The faith we have to express what you do for us. Now we have come just as we are, as single persons, as couple, as widow, as priests. May your name be glorified. You know every one of us. You feel that our heart beats because your mercy is everlasting. This day, and as they have traveled all the way, like the wise men, to this obscured corner of the world. May you bless them. Grant them the desires of their hearts. Grant them who are married, the fruits of the womb. Grant them who are working, security in their jobs. Grant them who are seeking for meaning in life your will, your divine will, your holy will, your supreme will. Mm -hmm. And grant them who are pastoring your people with the satisfaction and the joy of service. Mm -hmm. But bless all of us. And the people who they represent, friends, colleague workers, our nation, even those who do not like them. For with them, we grow in holiness. May you bless and keep us in your own might and power. Amen. 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 presence of your servant our son, Benazel, whom you have sent here to evangelize these people of the North Tongue. Father, we continue to ask you that they endure the plans of the earth, which are divine plans from you, may you continue to direct him. We ask you also to grant him good health, so whatever he is here for, may be fulfilled in your name. Never abandon him, Father. He trusts in you. He has put all his plan in you with confidence that you will help him to fulfill this divine plan. Father, as you have come to see him today, we are asking you just continue blessing with him. Never abandon him. May you encourage him. May you strengthen him. Let him continue 
to the good way that we have sent him here to do. Bless him, the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Peace with you. To the glory of God, this has been a vision before the nation uh, into the Catholic priesthood. In fact, before, during pastoral year, I, I had that strong vision and conviction that I had to live a solitary life. Uh, but I think the Lord wanted me to pass through active life before. So, together with uh, the then Archbishop of Akka, Archbishop Palma um, Paco, uh, he agreed that I should become a priest. Uh, a year after ordination, I I went to him again and made a, a request that I would like to go to the monastery and live in the solitude. And he made me in contact with Anisa uh, about it to find out from him because he also had interest in solitude life. And uh, so I tried that. At the same time, I was a new chaplain. I was made a new chaplain later on, so I became more active again than I was trying to live a solitude life. But that was also good because you didn't just get up and jump into the wilderness. You should be prepared. And the Lord had his way of preparing me. So I haven't lived all the life. I was okay. Even as a youth chaplain, looking director, jumping with the youth, singing with the youth, playing with the youth, and all that. But the more I did that, in the night, when I went to bless coming to pray, I felt that strong yearning still a solitude life. But again, I had to be the rules of the game at the time as an active priest. So I tried to do all that. And uh, every time it strengthened, the, the desire, the passion strengthened. But again, when you have a superior, the Lord will tell you to listen to him. So to listen to him again, he came strongly. But Abu Shabako still said that we should take our time. So more or less, he was coaching me through it. At the point in time, then, my current prayer director, Papa Hinti, uh, LG, also was imposed on him by the church to guide me through. So I listened to him, I had to listen to him and all that. In fact, in 2018, when our bishop was transferred and after people came in, I really wanted to leave. Uh, but again, thanks to uh, my extra and Azunta, with Azunta who died, we, I had to stay. And uh, I stayed at Shy Hills for about three or four years, so working to see how to be until um, at the right time, and this was last year, the passion was just too strong. In fact, when I took the coffee my first meeting with him, I wrote my will and gave it to him. And then I, I moved on. But the will, to summarize it, was to indicate that I believe in where I didn't know exactly, but it will be a solitude life. Now, whatever I went to, I, whatever, if any good thing came, I should benefit Akra also. And then the doubt wherever I will be, because Akra has taken care of me. Why? Who I am and what I am is Akra. But I'm sure he didn't understand it because it was too uh, fragmented. And fast forward, last year, uh, I was even thinking of going to uh, Yendi. But in the year 2020, before the elections, in October, the Lord and Our Lady sent me on a mission. You remember the unpopular uh, <laughs> world? Uh, yes, in 2015. But so this time round, I didn't want any people to raise any concerns that why is he going here? And I was using Opel Astra. Opel Astra, I'm old happy that I was using. So I, for me, I tried to resist the word to go on that mission, to go through the country, every the houses, go to go to say pray for Ghana. Because the vision was that there was going to be fire with the elections. So I I resisted because of what had happened with the mid June third stuff. And until October, I couldn't hold it again. So I took the car. I started moving. I didn't have real money for fuel. So I thought that once my money gets finished, I'll come back to the center after one or two diocese. So the first place I went to was Keta. From there to the Tetema, in Jasekan, before I came to, to Pando. Long and short, I went to the whole country. But the Lord kept showing me what has to be done. One, for the church to come back. A kind of a reformation. So I I had to be, remember I attracted the vision on a hundred acre land. Whatever it has been revealed finally. Uh, so I was praying about it. I told people what it was and all that. So there was confusion in me. I had to attend to the people of God and I had to also move and all that. Uh, until uh, in 2021, on 29th of uh, January, uh, a lady who had acquired the land here for farming asked me to come and bless it for her. That day was exactly 25 years anniversary of my 
my departure from the world as a child. I was 16 years old. So I came with them, with her and another guy. He, she, she came to the land with. When we entered from the main road, I told them this is my place. And I saw the sign, Beniza Kope. I said, ah, this is where I am. I'm a Beniza too. So when we had to play, uh, bless the, the, the land, I saw the vision. School, health, post, church, industry, and all that come together. So I told the pastor who will leave the land that this is what I saw. And then he said, okay, it's possible. Of course. A long and short of it, I'll just summarize it. Uh, on the 7th of September, uh, January last year, that's 2022, they called me to give a token and then they blessed the land. They prayed and they said, Father, our ancestors have done all this all these years. Uh, if your presence here will bring blessings. The Catholic Church, you know, at all and all that, what the church has done. And so they gave. Still, I wanted to go to uh, Yendi first to power come, but you know, 13, 14th of August last year, Sunday after Mass, the passion was just too strong to come. So, I came so Father, what yes. exactly are you doing here and how are you surviving here? Yes, we see so, um, solar and all I, I that. Came here, I came here purposely asking permission to spend one year or so off because I had sat down for a long time listening to confessions here and there. So I just to come and relax my system. A place where I will not be bothered so much by people coming for confession. Wherever I am, people come all the time. So I can also engage in some activities like farming and keep my, myself rejuvenated. I didn't come here because the here and then I had to start something. But I arrived on the 3rd, on the 14th, Sunday, Monday, 15th. The children came and I said, how do you boost? I should teach them. I said, wow, can we have come here for this? I got a board, small board, and the marker started teaching. I started to be done. So teaching became the first thing I had to do. And at the point in time, it was raining. I had to also farm. It was raining heavily, praying for rain. The rain came, it was raining, it was heavy. Then people came to me begging that I should pray to God for the rain to stop. I went to bless that and I prayed. I went again. My own maze was not doing well also because of the rains. I said, God, what, what can we do? We are praying. It's not stopping. We are not stopping the rain. Then I heard the voice. Let them transform the cassava into the rain. The next time, a woman who never knew where I was at the time, sent me an amount of 2,000 cents for the first time of her life to send me that money. Yeah. Then I said, no, it should be fine. So I checked on the net and saw this uh, greater machine. Uh, so I bought it. And I bought it. Very hardworking woman. We worked for money tonight. And then we started doing that. So this is how it began. So they also do cassava. Everything with cassava. Do. So, what's the future for for this um, this place? I hear you call it the city of God. Yeah, I, I name the city of God because it is God's own place. Uh, it's the church's own place. It's God's own place. City of God. I, I can't tell you the future exactly because I'm only a human being like Abraham. I may see too much, but I may not even need to see it. But I know that if God, whatever God has revealed, is true, there should be a reformed church here. There should be a health center. There should be educational center, it should be an industry. Cassava is the driving force here where people can have food. Now we are farming on the land, vegetables, everything to help. Also maybe some chalets for people who want to come and pray in this village, in this community also. So it's all encompassing what the church stands for. Okay. It's what so Father, this is where you sleep? No, where we went. Where we went. Yes, I have a tent. So. Uh, the summer said, my dwelling is black. So, 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 so this is more like the, so this is the industry the, hub of the, the... Young men who want to come and stay here, and do some work, have some meaning in life, yeah, put it here. And then, so in the meantime, we are schooling. The children are here to school. Uh, but we are hoping that that's the foundation for the classroom. Hopefully, we will move the, the new for the job, the industry, if you like. And this side will be the spiritual uh, center. But I think God will have this decide what to do. Once two bishops are involved, my own and Bishop Kofi, uh, and then Bishop Kumaji are involved. I'm sure God will use them to do whatever He wants to do for the church. I may die tomorrow, and I'm always here for going to heaven. But I believe that once the churches are involved, who knows, He may come and then transform this place into uh, what God wants. So somebody has to just plant. That's for the rest of it. It's in the hands of God.